Yes. You've gotten a lot of flack for recent comments that you made about uh, Beyonce. I've uh, gotten a lot of flack about a lot of things, including that one. But yes, I did get a lot of flack about that. <laughs> but do you regret making those comments? And should voters expect more of that sort of cu cultural commentary should you uh, run in 2016? Well, if people read the half page of the 272-page book in which I discussed that, I don't think they'll be that alarmed at what I said. I found it interesting, in fact, Casey, I think you were there with Mika Brzezinski on MSNBC. I don't think anybody would say Mika is a Tea Party um, advocate, uh, but Mika agreed with me, and I found that kind of refreshing. Why? Because she's a mother. I think she actually read what I said. Most people who are reacting are reacting to the headlines that are in the press rather than to the actual text of the book. So I would just say to people, read the book. That'll help sales. Read the book. <laughs> it's half a page of 272 pages. And I'll give you a little background here. When you write a book, this was my 12th, so it's something I had a little experience with, you get finished with it, and before you go out and do the media tour, you go through and you say, okay, what am I likely to be challenged on? What are going to be the issues that will be controversial that I really need to be prepared for? I had six or seven of those. That was not even on the list. I was somewhat amazed that it became the point of controversy. Under the surface makes the mainstream get so nervous. It's time for purpose, for news to serve us. Not with propaganda they use to hurt.